great features that we've seen on ROG boards is the BIOS, uh, which is incredibly flexible, but also uh, very intuitive, easy to use as it may be, um, and the Maximus 5 formula is certainly no exception. Uh, taking a look here, first panel you get is uh, Extreme Tweaker. Now, typically you see the main up front, but let's face it, it's an ROG board you're going to be tweaking, so they put it front and center. So, taking a look down, Load Gamers Overclock Profile, you can actually load up profiles. Uh, the Gamers Over Overclock Profile loads everything to a maximum setting uh, with one click. So you're going to get a very high overclock with one click. CPU Level Up gives you some selected um, level ups here, 4.2, 4.4, 4.6. Um, that's going to take everything up. We'll take a look at that a little later and we'll actually uh, give you an example. We did test uh, all the different overclock profiles and they did all work absolutely perfectly. So you've got some great one-click overclocking if you don't want to tweak it out yourself. But looking down, um, you've got your typical uh, and some very untypical uh, parameters here. Got your turbo ratio, obviously, memory frequency, extreme tweaking, uh, disabled or enabled. Um, that is going to be used if you are doing extreme overclocks. Uh, SPI booster is actually uh, Super Pi booster. Uh, give you advanced, per uh, a little bit more improved performance in Super Pi. Uh, IGPU frequency, obviously, EPU power saving modes, DRAM timings your DIM post, CPU power management, uh, CPU ratio, speed step on and off, turbo mode on and off, and power limit control. Going down, the Digi Plus power control, where you can really get into uh, some of the finer tweaking of the Digi Plus uh, VRM. Load line calibration, CPU voltage frequency can be auto or manual. You can set it to a fixed frequency. Power phase control, extreme or optimized. Uh, also, of course, auto and standard. Power duty control, CPU current capability going down. You've got the uh, iGPU load line calibration. Also, if you're going to be overclocking the iGPU, all of your DRAM uh, voltage down towards the bottom. And finally, all the way at the bottom, all of your VCC IO uh, voltage. And you've really, as you see, you've got an incredible amount to work with here to really get it uh, tweaked out to exactly how you want it for your system. Moving down, CPU voltage, IGPU voltage, standard controls, uh, manual or offset mode is available for both the CPU and IGPU as well as DRAM. Um, going down once again, all of your voltages down to the bottom and B clock skew, CPU IO skew. Um, going down, you've just got an incredible amount of flexibility and a lot to work with. But as you see, it's very easily laid out, very simple to work with. Moving over to the next panel, standard main panel, giving you all of your information on the board itself. You can adjust the uh, system date and time, and you've got your security on and off with a password. Moving over to advanced CPU configuration. Once again, you get some more advanced parameters on the CPU itself, and a more extended CPU power management configuration is located here. As you can see, all of your C uh, states are located here to allow you to adjust the C states to your liking. Going over to monitor, excellent monitoring capabilities on the ROG board, uh, as always, and it works in conjunction uh, with um, AI Suite 2 as well. Great voltage monitoring, temperature, fan speed monitoring, and finally fan speed control. Uh, when you get here you see you've got control not only of the curves of your CPU fan, but also your chassis fans and your opt fans which can pull duty mode, profile mode, or user mode. Uh, so you can set them up as you like Duty mode, set to 50% all the time. Profile mode, silent mode, obviously optimal or performance. And finally, taking a look, you can also set up the opt fan for a user mode where you can set low speed temp and full speed temp so you'll have the curve set up to your liking. And under boot, going up top, fast boot, enabled on and off, USB support, 
You can have partial or full initialization or USB disabled uh, for faster post times. Partial will only look for a keyboard and mouse and that's all it's going to find before it posts. Uh, this will get you uh, quicker post time. Network stack, next boot after AC power loss, full screen logo enabled or disabled, post time delay how long you have to get into the BIOS when the uh, full screen comes up. Number lock state, F1 on error, option ROM mess messages, and you've got compatibility support module, not just for the um, hard drive, but your boot device, network devices, storage devices, and PCIe, PCI expansion slot devices. Uh, you can enable or disable for everything, and you've got the option of UEFI and legacy OPROM, legacy OPROM only or UEFI only uh, under all of these um, different devices. Secure boot OS type can be Windows UEFI mode or other OS and key management features as well. Hard drive BBS priorities. So you can go up and down with your hard drives. Boot override down the bottom. And finally, last panel we come to is tools. Uh, the tools are really quite, uh, I shouldn't see, say so much extensive as they are really uh, useful here. First, you've got the uh, Easy Flash 2 utility, which is your BIOS flashing utility. And now, I do have uh, an external drive plugged in here, but you can uh, boot off your hard drive as well. And just locate folder wherever you've got your um, new BIOS, select it, and you can update right there. So, very simple to upgrade the BIOS. Next, uh, I'm going to skip over the overclocking profile for a second. SPD information, obviously very simple, just your SPD information for your RAM, all laid out right here. Now, some more extensive tools here, ASUS overclock profiles. Once you've entered uh, and saved an overclock in your BIOS or any type of profile, could be an underclock, but any BIOS configuration you want to save, you can save right here, label it, and save it to a profile number and you can save up to eight. You can then load from that profile right down here simply by entering the number of the profile you would like to enter. Now down here, load and save CMOS profile to and from a USB drive. So you can save these profiles to a USB drive as well. So you are not limited just to the eight here. Uh, this also comes in incredibly handy if you're using ROG Exchange and you're downloading uh, profiles for the uh, Maximus 5 formula and you want to try them out, just throw them on your USB drive, throw them in, and you can search for them right there and go in, load them right up. Uh, great feature. It makes it extremely flexible and great for sharing profiles. And finally, go button file. You've got the go button on the motherboard, one click, um, typically an overclock or any type of profile you like. For that one click, you set all of your parameters right here and after loading parameters, save above settings and go back, hit the go button and those uh, parameters will be loaded. So very extensive profile as we say, or I should say BIOS as we say with uh, just an incredible amount of flexibility. Um, now I did say we did actually try all of the uh, level ups and the loading the gamer, uh, gamers profile. Now loading the gamers profile as you can see, really maxes it out. You've got your cores up to 48, 47, 46, and 45. Uh, going down, you'll see, let's scroll on down here. You've got your voltage all the way up to 1.35, which is a little bit high for an Ivy Bridge chip, obviously. Um, they do recommend 1.34 as a maximum, but it does take it up to a very extreme profile uh, for gaming. And CPU level up, also very easy to work with. Um, I'll just do a quick 4.2 gig, or well, actually, let's just go to the 4.6 gig. Click it, CPU level up, OK. And it's actually going to reset the BIOS, unlike the uh, gamer's profile. So it will actually reboot. And when you come back up, we'll see the splash screen. Head back into the BIOS, and as you can see, we're now at 4.6 gigahertz down the board. Everything's set accordingly, 
uh, on the manual voltage. So you've got a really nice uh, little tool there for quick and dirty overclocking uh, if you really don't want to tweak it out yourself. But as I say, with this ROG BIOS, it's just absolutely phenomenal. And you can really just tweak everything to your liking. Uh, overclocks with incredible power saving if you like. You can do just about anything you want. Really a fantastic BIOS on the Maximus uh, Formula 5.